Welcome to my passion travel channel and I invite you I make content on tourism and subscribe to my channel and put a little like. Falafel, this is a deep fried ball or patty made from ground chickpeas or fava beans, served inside a pita bread with various toppings, such as vegetables, hummus, and tahini sauce. Falafel is a popular Middle Eastern dish made from ground chickpeas or fava beans, mixed with herbs and spices, formed into balls or patties, and then deep fried or baked. It is commonly served in pita bread or as part of a mezzi platter with various accompaniments. Here are some key points about falafel ingredients. The main ingredients in falafel are chickpeas or fava beans, onions, garlic, fresh herbs, such as parsley and cilantro, spices, such as cumin and coriander, and a binder like flour or breadcrumbs. The mixture is typically seasoned with salt and pepper. Preparation To make falafel, the chickpeas or fava beans are soaked overnight, then drained and ground in a food processor along with the other ingredients until a coarse mixture is formed. The mixture is shaped into small balls or patties and then fried until they turn golden brown and crispy. Baking is also a healthier alternative to frying. Serving, falafel is often served in a pita bread or flatbread, accompanied by various toppings and sauces. Common toppings include diced tomatoes, cucumbers, onions, and lettuce. Popular sauces include tahini sauce, made from sesame paste, tzatziki, yogurt and cucumber sauce, or hummus. Some people also enjoy adding pickles, hot sauce, or other condiments to enhance the flavors. Cultural significance. Falafel is a staple food in many Middle Eastern and Mediterranean cuisines. It is commonly associated with countries like Lebanon, Israel, Egypt, and Syria, but it has gained popularity worldwide due to its delicious taste and vegetarian-slash-vegan-friendly nature. Variations While the traditional recipe calls for chickpeas or fava beans, some regional variations may use a combination of both or substitute one legume for the other. Additionally, different countries and regions have their own unique spice blends and accompaniments, resulting in slight variations in flavor and presentation. Shawarma, this is a Middle Eastern meat dish made from thin slices of lamb, beef, or chicken that are seasoned with spices and roasted on a spit. The meat is then shaved off and served in a pita bread with vegetables and various sauces. Shawarma is a popular Middle Eastern dish made from thinly sliced marinated meat, usually lamb, chicken, beef, or a combination of these meats. It is typically cooked on a vertical rotisserie, which allows the meat to cook slowly and evenly while retaining its juices and flavors. The marinated meat is often stacked in layers on a vertical spit and then roasted or grilled until tender and juicy. Here are some key points about shawarma ingredients. The main ingredients for shawarma include marinated meat, commonly chicken, beef, or lamb. The marinade typically consists of a mixture of spices, herbs, garlic, lemon juice, vinegar, and sometimes yogurt. The meat is thinly sliced before or after cooking and can be served with various accompaniments. Preparation To prepare shawarma, the meat is first marinated to infuse it with flavor and tenderness. The marinated meat is then layered onto a vertical spit and slowly cooked, allowing the outer layers to become crispy while keeping the inner layers moist and tender. As the meat cooks, it is thinly sliced off the rotating spit, resulting in thin, flavorful slices. Serving, shawarma is typically served in a warm pita bread or flatbread, accompanied by various toppings and sauces. Common toppings include thinly sliced tomatoes, cucumbers, onions, and lettuce. Popular sauces include tahini sauce, made from sesame paste, garlic sauce, tzatziki, yogurt, and cucumber sauce, or hummus. Some variations may also include pickles, hot sauce, or other condiments. 
Cultural significance. Shawarma is a popular street food and fast casual dish in many Middle Eastern and Mediterranean countries. It has gained worldwide popularity due to its rich flavors and versatility. Shawarma is commonly associated with countries like Lebanon, Syria, Turkey, and Israel, but it is enjoyed in various forms across the globe. Sabich, this is a sandwich that is made with fried eggplant, hard-boiled eggs, hummus, and various vegetables, such as tomatoes, onions, and cucumber. It is typically served inside a pita bread. Sabich is a popular Israeli street food dish that consists of a pita bread stuffed with various fillings, including fried eggplant, hard-boiled eggs, Israeli salad, tahini sauce, and other flavorful ingredients. It is a vegetarian dish that is enjoyed for its combination of textures, flavors, and freshness. Here are some key points about sabich. Ingredients. The main ingredients in sabich include fried eggplant slices, hard-boiled eggs, Israeli salad, a combination of diced tomatoes, cucumbers, and onions, tahini sauce, made from sesame paste, hummus, pickles, and often seasoned with amba sauce a tangy and spicy mango pickle sauce. It is traditionally served in a pita bread or laffa, a larger flatbread. Preparation To make sabich, eggplant slices are typically seasoned with salt, then lightly coated in flour and fried until golden brown and crispy. The hard-boiled eggs are sliced, and all the fillings are prepared and ready to be assembled. The pita bread is usually warmed or lightly toasted before stuffing it with the fillings, serving. Once the ingredients are prepared, the pita bread is filled with the fried eggplant, sliced hard-boiled eggs, Israeli salad, tahini sauce, hummus, pickles, and amba sauce. The fillings are layered inside the pita to create a flavorful and satisfying combination of flavors, textures, and colors. Cultural significance. Sabich is believed to have originated from the Iraqi Jewish community and became a popular street food in Israel. It is commonly enjoyed as a quick and tasty breakfast or lunch option, often found in street stalls, food markets, and falafel shops throughout the country. Variations. While the traditional sabich consists of fried eggplant, hard-boiled eggs, and Israeli salad, there may be some variations in the additional ingredients and sauces used. Some variations might include adding boiled potatoes, pickled cabbage, or different types of sauces and condiments based on personal preference. Shikshuka, this is a breakfast dish made from eggs that are poached in a spicy tomato sauce with peppers, onions, and garlic. It is often served with bread for dipping. Shikshuka is a beloved dish in Israel, where it has become an integral part of the local cuisine. It is commonly found in Israeli breakfast and brunch menus and is enjoyed by people of all backgrounds. Shikshuka has gained popularity in Israel due to its rich flavors, simplicity, and versatility. In Israel, shikshuka is typically made with a base of sautéed onions, bell peppers, and garlic, which are then simmered with tomatoes and spices to create a robust and tangy sauce. The eggs are then poached in the sauce until cooked to the desired level of doneness. Some variations may include additional ingredients such as spicy peppers, fresh herbs, or cheese. Israeli shikshuka is often served with freshly baked bread, such as hala or pita, to mop up the delicious sauce. It can also be accompanied by various condiments and sides like tahini, labna, strained yogurt, olives, or Israeli salad, a mix of diced tomatoes, cucumbers, and onions. The combination of the warm and comforting tomato sauce, perfectly cooked eggs, and the various accompaniments make shikshuka a popular and satisfying dish. Shikshuka has become a staple in Israeli cuisine and can be found in restaurants, cafes, and street food stalls across the country. It is enjoyed by both locals and visitors alike, and its popularity has spread to other parts of the world as well. Hummus 
This is a dip made from mashed chickpeas, tahini, olive oil, lemon juice, and garlic. It is often served with pita bread or vegetables for dipping. Hummus is a delicious and versatile Middle Eastern dip or spread made primarily from cooked and mashed chickpeas, also known as garbanzo beans, blended with tahini, sesame paste, olive oil, lemon juice, garlic, and salt. It is a staple in Middle Eastern and Mediterranean cuisines and has gained popularity worldwide for its creamy texture and rich flavor. Here are some key points about hummus. Ingredients The main ingredients in hummus are chickpeas, tahini, sesame paste, olive oil, lemon juice, garlic, and salt. Some variations may include additional ingredients like cumin, paprika, or herbs for added flavor. Preparation. To make hummus, cooked chickpeas are combined with tahini, olive oil, lemon juice, garlic, and salt in a food processor or blender. The mixture is processed until smooth and creamy, adding water or additional olive oil if needed to achieve the desired consistency. Variations. While the classic hummus recipe uses chickpeas as the base, there are variations that use different legumes such as black beans or lentils. Additionally, flavored hummus varieties have become popular, incorporating ingredients like roasted red peppers, sun-dried tomatoes, roasted garlic, or spices such as cumin or smoked paprika. Serving, hummus is typically served as a dip or spread. It is commonly enjoyed with pita bread, crackers, or raw vegetables such as carrots, celery, or bell peppers. It can also be used as a condiment or ingredient in sandwiches, wraps, or as a topping for salads and roasted vegetables. Cultural significance. Hummus has a long history in Middle Eastern and Mediterranean cultures and is considered a staple food in countries like Lebanon, Israel, and Palestine. It is often served as part of a mezzi platter, which consists of various small dishes served as appetizers or as part of a shared meal. Malabi, this is a sweet dessert made from milk pudding that is flavored with rose water and topped with chopped nuts and syrup. Malabi, also known as Mihalabi, is a popular Middle Eastern dessert that is enjoyed in various countries including Israel, Turkey, Lebanon, and Syria. It is a creamy and refreshing dessert made from milk or coconut milk, sugar, and cornstarch, and flavored with rose water or orange blossom water. It is often garnished with toppings such as shredded coconut, chopped nuts, or pomegranate seeds. Here are some key points about malabi ingredients. The main ingredients in malabi are milk or coconut milk for a dairy-free version, sugar, cornstarch, or rice flour, and flavorings such as rose water or orange blossom water. The dessert can be made with different levels of sweetness, depending on personal preference. Preparation To prepare malabi, the milk, or coconut milk, is heated on the stovetop with sugar until it reaches a gentle simmer. Cornstarch, or rice flour, is mixed with a small amount of water to create a slurry, which is then added to the milk mixture. The mixture is continuously stirred until it thickens and coats the back of a spoon. It is then poured into serving dishes or molds and left to cool and set in the refrigerator. Flavorings and toppings Malabi is traditionally flavored with rose water or orange blossom water, which gives it a delicate floral aroma. After the dessert has set, it can be garnished with various toppings such as shredded coconut, chopped nuts, such as pistachios or almonds. Pomegranate seeds, or a sprinkle of ground cinnamon, serving, malabi is served chilled and is often enjoyed as a light and refreshing dessert, especially during warm weather. It is typically served in individual serving dishes or glasses. Some variations may also include a drizzle of syrup, such as pomegranate syrup or rose syrup, for added sweetness and flavor.